Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth chapter of engineering ethics. In part A of chapter 5, we will discuss honesty and dishonesty in the workplace. Let us kick things off with a story. John is an intern at an oil company. He got this internship as a summer job. This job is extremely high paying compared to other opportunities. John could not have gotten this internship if it weren't for Paul, who is John's vitamin W, which is Lebanese slang for wasta, which means a connection that has the power to get you hired. In other words, a form of corruption. One day on the job, Paul forgot to do a gas check. Missing this gas check has created a leak that was caught early on so the damages were mostly financial. If Paul gets caught, he might lose his job for this mistake. Paul cannot afford to lose his job, as he is an expecting father and he has a family. While John was doing some of his routine duties, he realized that the leak can be traced down to the gas check that was missed by Paul. John is now conflicted. Should he expose Paul or should he stay silent and cover it up because he owes Paul? In John's case, hiding the truth will be a lack of honesty, but also exposing his friend would be ungrateful. The best approach could be from John, the intern, to approach Paul and encourage him to come clean about the gas check. If Paul refuses, then John is obligated to tell management. This brings us to the question of what is honesty and how to define it properly in the workplace. Honesty is a series of traits and ways of self-conduct that include being realistic in stating claims, being open to honest criticism and not shy away from providing it, being impartial and truthful. Add to them, working in organizations that you deem honest and truthful, staying away from fraudulent activities, even if permitted by law, and stating matters truthfully and clearly while providing all the relevant information. All these acts seem generic and may leave you with a sense of ambiguity, Therefore, understanding the opposite side of honesty can help us understand honesty better. The opposite end is dishonesty. From your experience, what characteristics of dishonesty can you identify? Dishonesty has many forms, so we will view them to comprehend the extent of dishonesty. The first form is lying. Lying is intentionally giving out information that you know isn't true. Such claims are made with the intention to deceive someone or a group of people. Another form of dishonesty is deliberate deception. Deliberate deception is implying the possession of information or skills that you do not have. In certain scenarios, it can be even more disastrous than lying. We continue with the forms of dishonesty to reach withholding information. Withholding information is deliberately omitting information with the intent to deceive. One example would be expressing an idea without showing its side effects. Another way a person may fall into dishonesty is the failure to seek out the truth. This occurs when an engineer does not check all the information to make sure that what he or she are doing is 100% correct. Fabrication is another form of dishonesty. But what is fabrication? Fabrication is to fabricate and create data and results of experiments that do not exist in order to make yourself look good, for example, or to catch a deadline. We also have falsification, which involves distorting a dataset by removing irregularities to make it look good. The end product of falsification is a seemingly good product 
that is actually bad. Our final form of dishonesty is plagiarism, which is the use of intellectual property without permission. Intellectual property was covered in chapter 4 with more detail. Our case study for this video is the Challenger disaster. The Challenger disaster occurred in 1986 when the Challenger shuttle exploded mid-air, killing its seven crew members. That occurred 73 seconds after launch. This catastrophe was due to the withholding of a specific piece of information that indicated that the flight cannot be allowed below a specific temperature. Check out the details of this case as shared by ASCE in the attached video. This brings us to the end of part A of chapter 5 where we discussed honesty and dishonesty in the workplace. If you have any requests or comments, please share them below and subscribe to always get the latest content.